Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. In this video today, I will test another portable car multimedia screen. This is a 9.3 inch screen from the famous Podofo company. It's an ideal solution for all those people who don't have a screen in their cars or if they have a screen, it's not a multimedia screen. This Podofo portable screen adds life to your car. Now let's first do the unboxing and then we will test the performance of this 9.3 inch Podofo portable CarPlay screen. So keep watching guys. What we get is a user manual. Um, it's a, a user manual in uh, English only. So you get a aux cable for audio. Uh, then you've got the power cable. This is the cigarette lighter power cable and it comes with a long, uh, probably a few meters long cable. And then you also get a HD reverse camera or the back camera. And uh, again, it comes with a very, very long cable, so you can easily install this in any size of the car. All right, and then finally, you do you get this sticking pad. Now, this sticks on the dashboard. So as you can see, this is a two-sided sticking pad. So one end sticks to the dashboard. On the other end, you remove this plastic, and the other end sticks to the, to the screen. So it sits nicely on the dashboard of your car, and I'll show you how to do that uh, later on in this video. All right, so now let's have a closer look at this uh, Padofo 9.3 inch uh, portable car screen. Let's take this off. Let's take this off as well. So this is a very nice uh, size. It's a 9.3 inch uh, landscape kind of a, of a layout. I like this, this layout compared to the squarish design. So it's quite nice. It's very lightweight. Again, this is the, the bracket uh, for mounting it on the dashboard. So this also comes with a sticking pad. Um, now on top you see um, the power button. And when you look at the back, you've got this uh, fixed front camera. This is a high resolution camera and you can move this to adjust the view as well, like that. Now this comes with built-in speakers as well. You can see it here. Um, a lot of spacing for air ventilation so the device doesn't heat up. All right, so in terms of the connections, you have the Type-C, this is for power. Then you've got the AV in, this is for the rear view camera. Then you've got a TF card or the SD card slot uh, to record the footage that you get from the front camera. And um, the good thing is that you do get a freebie. It comes with a free 64 GB SD card pre-installed. And then you have the audio aux cable connection here. So in terms of the connections, very simple standard connections. You get a very high resolution front camera you can connect a rear view camera as well it's got built-in powerful speaker but you can connect it with aux cable for uh, better uh, output or you can connect this through the FM transmission which I will show you later on in this video all right now let me take this out to my car and I'll show you how to set this up on the dashboard and then we will switch it on and start testing the different functions and features of this Padofo 9.3 inch portable car screen so keep watching guys All right, friends, so I've set this uh, Padofo A3073 smart car screen uh, on the dashboard of my car. Um, the ideal place for this is right in the middle of the dashboard, uh, but because I already have a 12 inch uh, screen installed, I'm setting this up right in front of the steering wheel on the dashboard just to make this video, uh, but looks quite nice. Uh, one really good thing about this is the base. It's a very stable and wide base. As you can see, it's a very stable wide base and with the sticking pad and the sticking tape, you can stick this permanently on the dashboard and it will not move, vibrate while you drive the car. And, and this is a, a plug and play device. You can set this up yourself. You don't need uh, any sort of professional help uh, to set this up. You just need to connect the, the power adapter to the cigarette lighter adapter to switch this on. All right, so now let me give you a quick overview of the layout. So you've got the date and time uh, on the top left, then you've got the home button. Now on the main screen, you've got these five icons, but you can actually swipe to the left and get to see more uh, apps uh, that are available on this screen. You click on this home button, brings you back to the main home page. Uh, the next one is a uh, brightness, so you can adjust the brightness of this screen. Then you've got the FM transmission. Uh, now you can connect the portable screen's audio 
to the sound system of your car and I'll show you how to do that later on. Um, you can also use the built-in speakers. Now the built-in speakers on this device are very, very powerful. So if you don't want to connect the sound to the system of your car, you can simply use the, the built-in speakers and that's uh, loud enough for any car. Uh, then you've got the settings area. So let me take you through the different setting options here. So you've got the, the record resolution. So you can uh, adjust the resolution of the of the footage that gets recorded from the front camera as well as the uh, rear view camera. You've got the split time. So you can set the time of the footage files that are saved on the SD card that was installed. You have the microphone option. You can uh, uh, mirror the image that you get uh, on the screen. Then you've got the screen saver. Uh, the voice control you've got the driving position adjustment so you can uh, adjust this to a right hand or a left hand drive you have the reverse line calibration as well so once you install the rear view camera uh, then you can set the guiding lines on the screen uh, that helps you to park the car now i already have a reverse camera installed in this car so i'm not going to install the reverse camera that came with the box uh, but it's a very simple process all right so now let's come back to the main home page uh, as i said uh, I'm extremely impressed with the quality of the screen. It's a very, very clear, bright uh, screen. The colors are extremely nice as well. So, all right, so the first thing I would like to do is actually connect the audio of this portable screen to the sound system of my car. Uh, and it's a very easy process. You just need to go to this audio output section, uh, click on this, and here you have options of either using this built-in speaker you can connect uh, audio to the CarPlay or Android Auto system. You can set this up with the FM transmission that connects with the sound system of the car, or you can connect it uh, physically, use the aux audio cable that was uh, in the box, connect it with the, the portable screen and the other end connect it with the aux slot in your car. Uh, so quite a few options of how to connect the sound, uh, sound coming from this portable screen to the sound system of your car. So in this video, I will uh, connect the FM transmission. Uh, it's a very, very easy process. Uh, you just need to go to the frequency on this screen, 105.7, you can change that as well. And on the radio of your car, you just need to match the same frequency. So as you can see, 105.7 on the portable screen, and I'm matching the same on the radio of my car. 105.7 FM right so as soon as you do that now the audio is directly connected with the sound system of my car all right so the first thing I would like to test on this portable screen is connecting to the Apple CarPlay system wirelessly so we click on this Apple CarPlay icon uh, confirm the switch to Apple CarPlay and now you get all the instructions on the screen on how to connect this with the Apple CarPlay system so what we need to do is take our iPhone, uh, open the Bluetooth settings and look for this new device as T86, the same name appearing on the screen. Uh, click on this, pair the device, allow it to sync contacts and favorites, and then click use CarPlay. So that's it. Very, very simple, easy. This is a one time setup process. As soon as you connect it with your mobile, you will get the home page of Apple CarPlay on your screen. This is the standard Apple CarPlay homepage uh, with all the applications that are compatible and uh, available on your phone are appearing on the screen here. And you can then use all the different options. Uh, you can make calls, music, navigation, anything that you can do on CarPlay. In fact, you can use the voice assistant as well like Siri. Uh, and we can test that right now. Hey Siri, play some music. This music is uh, coming out of the sound system of the car not the portable screen because we've already connected it with the FM transmission and I can use the steering wheel control to, to control the volume. All right, so, hey Siri, take me to Dubai Mall. There you go. So you can use Siri to uh, navigate as well. If you don't want to use Siri, you can just uh, use this touch screen uh, to select a location uh, and the navigation looks quite nice with this very good layout of the screen. All right, so one very important thing that I'd like to test with this uh, portable screen is when I switch on the car, does it take me directly to the home page of Apple CarPlay if the Apple CarPlay is connected and the Bluetooth on my iPhone is on? 
it's a very important test because you know this should be a a very quick connect smart screen so every time you switch on the car you don't have to uh, play around with the, the portable screen and do the connection with your iphone again so it should automatically connect with your mobile and take you to the home page of apple carplay so that's very important for any portable car screen so what i'm going to do now is unplug the device and then plug it back in and then see if the screen connects with my iphone and takes me directly to the home page of apple carplay without me clicking on anything so takes about four or five seconds for the screen to start FM transmission has been turned on because we've already connected the sound to the car. It's already on, so we don't have to connect that again. That's good. Now this system should take me directly to the Apple CarPlay. There you go. So extremely, extremely impressive. Uh, and it's very, very fast. You know, it takes about four or five seconds for the device to switch on power up and then probably another four or five seconds to take us directly to the home page of Apple CarPlay. So this is all right, now let's uh, connect the wireless Android Auto. Uh, so we click on the Android Auto icon. Uh, again, you get all the instructions on the screen on how to connect it. Uh, what you need to do is on your Android mobile, I've got my Samsung, go to the Bluetooth settings, open Bluetooth, look for a new device as T86, click on it, then pair the device. And that's it. It's a, it's an easier uh, process compared to the CarPlay on iPhone. You just get one message of pairing, click OK, and then it will take you directly to the home page of uh, wireless Android Auto on the screen. There you go. So this is the home page of uh, the new Android Auto CoolWalk uh, version. Looks uh, extremely nice. Um, and again, because of the layout of the screen, it comes out quite nicely. So you've got the navigation right in the middle, uh, you've got the media playing on the right side and then you've got the shortcut uh, menu or icons on the left side here. So you've got the map, uh, you've got voice assistant, uh, you've got calls, settings and, and right at the bottom is where you go to the full screen view. So this is the navigation. If you want the full screen uh, navigation, just click on this map, you get a full screen. Uh, you can click on this uh, again to get a split screen view. Um, if you click this uh, dots on the top bottom left, you actually see all the different applications, uh, the apps that are installed or compatible with the Android Auto system. Uh, like these, you can go to the settings, change the look and feel of Android Auto, change the wallpaper icon and so on. Uh, but again, it's a standard Android Auto system uh, that now appears on the screen here. Um, now, again, I won't test everything because once Android Auto is connected, you know, all the functionality is enabled, like making calls, music and all. But the important. All right. So then we have this DVR. This is the front camera and uh, it is voice enabled as well. So when you're on the home page, you can say front camera okay. and the system will uh, take you directly to the front camera view. Now. This view is for the front camera, but if you have the rear view camera installed, then you also get an option of having a split screen view. So you can split with the left side showing the front camera and the right side showing you, showing you the back view. So, and, and within this, you've got options of recording. It's automatically uh, recording and I'll show you how the footage looks uh, through the SD card file. Um, and then you've got options of taking images, uh, locking the screen, setting up uh, the microphone, voice enable, uh, voice input, and, and so on. So all the standard uh, settings are available for the DVR as well. And uh, you can actually go back and on this playback area is where you have all the files from the recording uh, saved. So you can just simply select a file and then uh, you can play like this. And you've got the date and timestamp here as well. Now, the, the quality of the front camera, which is a very high definition, is extremely good. As you can see, it's very, very clear. You can easily make out the number plates on the car. Uh, it's very bright and crisp as well. Um, so quite impressive uh, front camera on this one. Now, let's come back. Uh, we've already tested the audio output, which uh, we've connected with the FM transmission. Now, let's go to the next page. Now, this is where you can actually have the Apple CarPlay, Android uh, casting, the Bluetooth music. Now, you can connect your mobile with this uh, device through the Bluetooth to have uh, the, to play music, to make calls and other things. But you can do the same with the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto system. So you don't really need this. Uh, then you can also connect uh, through the Wi-Fi system to have videos played on this. 
which you can also do it through the mobile screen mirroring that I'll show you now. Now I'll show you the Apple AirPlay, which is the iPhone mobile screen mirroring, but you can uh, you know follow the same instructions for the Android mobile screen mirroring through the Android casting here. So what you need to do is click on Apple CarPlay, confirm the switch, and then again you get all the instructions on the screen on how to connect this with the mobile for the mobile screen mirroring. So the process is simple. What you need to do is uh, you just need to go to your iPhone again, uh, open Wi-Fi and look for this on the Wi-Fi car link. Click on this car link and then it automatically connects with the car link system. In case your mobile asks for a password, the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Uh, so once you're connected, just from the top right, go to mobile or screen mirroring, then select smart screen, and that's it. So now the mobile is mirrored on the screen here. So this is probably the best feature for me uh, about this uh, device. Uh, you can go to any application and you can see that it's uh, very nicely mirrored on the screen here. And in fact, uh, you can also play videos uh, like YouTube or other video streaming apps on the mobile, which will then be uh, mirrored on the screen here. And I'll show you how to do that. There you go. You can see now. You're getting the same image on the screen, no delay or lag of any sort. And remember, the sound is coming out of the system of my car. So you can increase the sound to maximum. Looks quite nice. So that's it, guys. This was a very quick review of this uh, Podofo A3073 smart screen or the portable CarPlay screen. Um, very, very impressive. Now, Podofo is a very well-known. They've been in this business for more than 10 years. They, they make amazing car gadgets, car accessories. Uh, very impressive uh, portable screen, I must say. You know, uh, the, the two things I love about this device, one is the quality of the screen. It's very, very clear, bright, and the colors are very nice. And number two is the connection speed. So when you're connecting this with your Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto for the first time, as well as when you switch on the car, the reconnection speed is very, very fast. So another very impressive function on this. And finally, the mobile screen mirroring is, is amazing. You know, one of my favorite features that I use uh, on most of these devices. So all in all, a uh, very, very good uh, portable screen. This is an ideal product for people who don't have a car screen or for people who have a screen in their car, which is not a multimedia screen. So this is an ideal product for all those people. If you like it, uh, if you're interested, you can simply go to the link in the description of this video. That takes you directly to the official store where you can buy this very nice 9.3 inch Podofo A3073 portable smart car screen. That's it guys. Thanks for watching this video.